Hello, welcome to another video from Sean Rose Animal Reiki. These videos are just tutorials to guide you and assist you if you are not quite sure how to relax and do a meditation. Um, today we're going to do a full grounded meditation with breathing and then opening the seven major chakras. Now, I just want to point out that this is my way of doing things. Uh, it is my belief my practice, etc. And there are many other forms of practice, ways and beliefs of how the energy systems work and how the chakra systems are to be opened and closed, including grounding and other people's beliefs, religions, etc. This is coming from a neutral point of view and doesn't take into account any religious um, groups or anything of that sort. Okay, I'm working with pure positive nature, uh, pure positive source energy, and that's where this video is coming from. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all is just we're going to relax, let the body relax. Let the shoulders, let the neck, let the body just really move around and just relax. We're trying to get rid of any tension and resistance. Okay, so we're going to do 10 breaths, but just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do one or two because it's only a demonstration. Okay, so we're going to go a nice deep breath. And as you're doing your breathing, focus on the breath coming in, the breath going out, etc. And allow all those negative, toxic thoughts just go away and be blown out, blown into the earth. Just let them go. They don't want to be inside our mind space. So that's the idea. We're going to slow the body down. We're going to quieten the mind. Therefore, we're going to slow resistance and momentum. And that way, we're going to allow our inner being that naturally vibrates we're going to naturally vibrate and match with it and join up and become one. And that way, we can really, really look to source energy and we can really focus on the wellness, the well-being, the good, the now, etc. And not worrying about what happened yesterday, 10 years ago, or what's going to happen next week back at work. Okay, so do the breaths until you feel relaxed. You may be good with five. You may want to do 10 or 20. You may have trouble with thoughts coming back in. Well, that's fine, just keep practicing and don't give up. Just keep the thoughts going out, keep them going out, and eventually you'll hit a point where you can just keep that mind space nice and free for a few moments while you meditate. Because meditation doesn't have to be 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour long. It can be just five, 10, 15 minutes. But the idea is that you do it every day because it's a good way of synthetically stopping momentum and resistance because as we go through the day you'll notice that we do get anxious and we get carried away we get excited we get stressed and worried and when we go to bed and when we fall to sleep our body naturally takes over and that momentum stops so in the morning we feel better and we're ready to start the day again well sometimes we can't always make it through the day uh, it can cause headaches it can cause other emotions to come into consideration it can just generally cause us to be uh, on a bad vibration, on a vibration or a disc that doesn't serve as well. And if we take it with us through the day, it could affect our sleep pattern and we don't want to do that. So it's a good way of just temporarily stopping things and then resetting, rebooting, if you like, the mind and the body, the spirit, and just allowing it to continue as it should perform. OK, so we're going to go to some grounding. Grounding helps people to focus, we feel more connected to the earth. Earth will take away any negativity, any toxic energies, and it will recycle them, and it will produce pure, beautiful source energy once again. So imagine your feet are on the floor, or actually put them on the floor, and underneath, imagine you've got roots and stalks, or sprouts of shoots, or something sticking out there, and it's going to go racing down into the earth. Let it go crashing through the concrete, crashing down for about a mile, really let it go down there. You'll get used to this and you'll start to feel when you've locked onto something. Your body will tell you exactly when it feels right and you'll have hit something. So then pull the energy up from the earth and pull it up to your feet. 
and up to your ankles, let it come to your calves, let it come to the knees and let it come to the leg. But stop it just roughly where the pockets are, where you put your hands in your pockets and your trousers. That's because we want to keep the lower half of the body for uh, attachment and grounding. And we want to keep the upper part of the body to open the seven major chakras. So now the energy is up there and it's locked in. I know it stops there and I'm now going to open my chakras. We have many chakras. Some people believe thousands. We have the seven major ones that are commonly spoken about. And we're going to start with the crown. The crown chakra is a really highly spiritual uh, connection portal. And this is just on the top of the head, slightly back. If you're working with colour, it's violet in colour. Now I like to imagine uh, a beautiful flower. So a, a flower with violet petals unfurls and it sits there exposing the energy portal that is constantly working of the crown chakra. Also, it's worth remembering that the chakras do rotate in alternate rotation. So if you're feeling this one is moving in an anti-clockwise fashion, then the brow chakra needs to be rotating in a clockwise fashion, and the throat chakra anti-clockwise and so on and so forth. Okay, so I've opened the crown chakra. I'm going to now go to the brow, the third eye chakra. This is a good connection to the spirit realms, to source energy. Uh, it's quite a it's quite a strong feature when it comes to spirituality and perception, intuition, um, the third eye astral traveling and receiving impulses of information and or pictures and images. It's quite important. This one's indigo if you're working with color. So again, nice, beautiful, big flowers, petals opening up and exposing the turning center, the energy portal of the brow chakra. Now we're going to go down to the throat chakra, which is blue and obviously the opposite direction to the brow chakra. Again, beautiful blue petals just sitting out there, nicely unfurled, exposing the throat chakra. We go down into the chest, and obviously it's the heart chakra in the centre of the chest just here. This one is green in colour, and again a beautiful big turn, and those wonderful large petals just sitting there all around encompassing that wonderful energy chakra portal just there, nice and green. Down to the solar plexus chakra, this one is yellow. So again, nice big turn, twist, unfurl, sit there exposing all the energy center of the solar plexus. Now down to the sacral, which is just below the tummy button, the belly button, um, the navel, if you like, just underneath there. And this one's orange, still working with color. So again, beautiful turn, big petals all around, exposing the, the center of the energy portal there. And finally, the root base chakra, right at the bottom where the base of the spine is, the coccyx, all the way through the body and red, big turn, sitting down there nicely, helping us to connect and ground to earth as well. It's almost like a, a center point, if you like, between the grounding and the seven major chakras. So now all the chakras are open, all the energy discs are turning, this is where you can send and receive and share the energy. This is where you focus on your breath and you will naturally align your inner vibrations. Your aura will respond. It will become higher. It will reach out further and it will have more color in it. You'll start to see all the beautiful bright colors of the rainbow in there, the full spectrum. So just relax into it. Do your meditation. Take as long as you like. Find yourself a little mind space and just relax. It's all you need to do. Relax. The chakras do have meanings regarding the colours, and that's something else we can talk about in another video. And they do attach us to various points in life, such as emotion, creativity, um, lovingness, um, family, reproduction, and also spirituality. Each chakra has a big concern and a connection to this universe. It's all very interesting, and it's worth breaking down and doing one chakra per video rather than just rushing through it. So now in your meditation, when you feel ready to come back into this wonderful physical body that you're in now, close down your chakras, start at the root, give them a nice turn, seal, 
turn, seal, turn, seal, and so on and so forth until you've done all seven chakras. If you choose to give yourself a blessing, if you use certain words or rituals, then that's fine. If you want to do that now, you do that. And then from the feet, thank you, Earth. That was really nice of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for looking after my energy and thank the Earth. If you want, thank the universe. Show appreciation and gratitude, and it just really, really boosts all the wonderful energy. So now we've done the meditation, we've closed down the chakras, we've taken our feet out from grounding, everything is done. Sometimes people like to put an imaginary white bubble, a sphere around them, 360 degrees, put themselves in that full of white, pure energy, pure light, source energy for protection. That's fine. If that works for you, that's absolutely fine. You do that. So there we are. It's just a quick 10, 11 minute video just to show you how I do things. And if you enjoy watching the comment, why don't you like it and share it and also subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, everyone. Love and light. Take care.